Hi again. In my last video, I talked a bit about hyperfocus, and I thought I'd explain it a bit more, or at least what I think it means for me now. When I'm sitting in the zone writing my book and I can write up to 5,000 words in a day, to me that's hyperfocus. I'm, hy I'm focusing in on the book. I'm not looking at what hubby's doing. I'm not going out in the garden. I'm not doing something else. I'm hyperfocusing, focusing just on the book, on my writing, and that's been my sanity for a few months now. But what's the opposite of that? What's the consequence if I don't sit and write my book in our current situation? Well, I could quite easily spend the day out in the garden. I could spend quite easily spend the day if I had all of the dirt, all of the pots, all of the tools, and just water in the garden, take cuttings of the plants, grow the plants, fertilise the plants, whatever. I could spend the day out there, not a problem. The same as if I had a menagerie of animals. What happens if I don't have any of that, noting that I don't have any craft stuff or anything at the moment, then I'm in the head, then I'm in my head. So I'm not, it's not negative stuff about me. It's not, oh no, I can't do it. Although that is a lot of my thing. I can't do stuff. It's not that. It's just going over and over again. The washing needs to be done or the thing needs to be mopping or what's going to happen with that or when are we going to do that and making a list for that and doing this and doing that and doing that. And that's just my continual headspace. And then, of course, when you've got others around who have a similar high anxiety, high um, stuff spinning around in their head, it's just crazy. It's just crazy counting. So you, um, like, we can sit here and if I'm not focusing on something else like the garden or the writing or craft or whatever, which I don't have, um, what's going to happen with that? What's going to happen with that? What's going to happen with that? over and over again on repeat and then at night it's the same and it's just that over and over and over and over and over again like I've had a lot of coffee and a lot of chocolate which I don't have all the time so for me that hyper focus it's like that um kind of like mindfulness on mantras or meditation finding something that you can concentrate on it might be making resin frogs it might be knitting it might be something in the garden it could be reading it could be watching TV, something that takes all of your brain and so that you're focusing just on that and you're not thinking about all the other crazy stuff. That's my, what I call hyperfocus. So just popped on again to tell you that. Um, have a great day, everyone, and stay tuned for tips and ideas on different things as we move into August. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.